Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here. Thank you so much for watching the channel. I appreciate it if you could just destroy that like button, just hit it, just, it, I mean, what's it? It doesn't take much, right? You just, that's it. And it helps the algorithm, otherwise I would not ask. It's so stupid, right? Would you please like my video? It's dumb. It even feels bad. So, and also, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get the videos. That's useful. Also, I gotta preface this with, uh, grab your couple free stocks. They're free, you don't have to pay for them. Um, down below, you can get Webull, open up an account there and get a free stock. This is gonna make sense too. Um, I've gotten a lot, a lot of people have gotten stock from Webull, so, um, especially from my link. When almost all of the stimulus checks finally get out to the people across the country, what have Americans done with their $1,200 disaster relief funds? Well, a data, a data aggregate company, these, I mean, everybody's researching and checking stuff out, right? Um, Ernest Yudley, Yudley, I'll put the link down below so that you can, you can see where it came from, tracked the spending behaviors of 2.5 million Americans through bank accounts transfers beginning in early March. Okay, so this is a sample size, pretty decent sample size for a survey. And what they found that when given some extra money, Americans are going to invest those funds in the stock market. Wow. I don't, I, wow, right? I mean, the, obviously there's toilet paper now at the stores. And now people are buying stocks and the stock market is rallying. Well, Yodley showed that people that received the stimulus check spent an average of 81% more than the week before. Plus a good portion of that spending went into the stock market because we're able to actually track that, believe it or not. As either the second or third most popular use of the stimulus check uh, for Americans with incomes ranging from 35000 to 150000 only saving and ATM cash withdrawals were more popular than securities trading. Think about that. Savings, right? And cash withdrawal? But security, buying, buying stocks is what we did with our money, which is great, right? So the money's still there. And if they bought dividend stocks, like I tell people to do, they'll get paid on those stocks, which is even better. It'll be the stock that keeps on giving through dividends. In fact, the individuals that earn between 35,000 to 75,000 annually, there was an increase of 90% on stock spending compared to the week before receiving a stimulus check. And then an average of 82% increase was seen from those earning 100 to 150,000 on securities trading, as well as 50% increase for, for people making 150,000. I definitely understand why people are using their funds to purchase stock, especially when the market is still recovering. And also because they're watching all the YouTube videos and everybody that's talking about getting the stock market right now and everybody who's making money in the stock market right now, including your, yours truly, because I also invest in the stock market. So. I like buying little pieces of companies and I like owning companies. And what's great is there's so many younger investors are getting into the market and higher rates as a result, right? Higher rate as well. You know what's great? While so many people have kicked the millennials down the road and said all kinds of bad stuff like they're lazy and they're not as smart and all kinds of, I mean, I hear all kinds of stuff. I'm like, these are the same. You like you were the same. Your parents probably said the same thing about you. But literally, younger people are making intelligent investment decisions. This is awesome. They didn't go buy the bigger iPad. They saved the money or they invested it. So we definitely coming out of this have a very different America, right? Most major online brokers have reported an increase in new accounts which many say are due to the stimulus check or my channel, right? I mean, people get two free stocks just by clicking down below and then, hey, you got two free stocks and you can watch the market even if you don't buy anything. And there's no friction in buying stock anymore. When I was first buying stock, I had to pay a commission. You know, the guy that said that, uh, you know, you put them on the Ferris wheel and it goes round and round and round and the, 
you know, I don't want to infringe on any copyright things, but you know, the, uh, that thing, that guy, you know who I'm talking about, right? I don't, I don't want to say it here, but you know, the Wolf of Wall Street guy. But um, they basically, they made money, whether you got on or got off. All they had to do was talk you into either getting on or getting off. Well, now that sounds bad. Now it's 0% commission, zero, nothing. So you buy a stock this second, you press a button, which I do all the time. And you know what? If I don't feel good about that, I press the sell button. And how much have I paid? Nothing. In fact, if the stock goes up, I made money. If the stock goes down, obviously I lose a little bit of money. But literally, I, I mean, I press a button, I'm in, I'm out, I paid nothing for that. I remember when I was a kid and, and was on the financial district in San Francisco, I used to go there every single day to Merrill Lynch and look at all this stuff and talk to all the brokers. I was about 16 years old, crazy, insane, love the markets and figuring out what was going on there. And basically, I'm, they're, they got paid all this money just on a commission. That's gone. Everybody had to go to these, you know, no commission trading platforms. Now you have like Charles Schwab, one of the largest online brokers, saw a reported 609,000 new accounts during its first quarter. I mean, obviously people are sitting at home and, hey, I can, you can open up an account on your phone, right? Like literally your phone. I mean, you could be just hanging out on the porch and open an account. The most popular platform, of course, one of the biggest popular ones, and I have it as well, I have lots of different trading accounts, is Robinhood. They reported a 300% increase in daily trades compared to a year ago. And you know what's great about Robinhood? Robinhood, with their trading platform and their explosive growth, transformed an industry that's been charging fees for basically buying stock Yet they were made, I mean, this was like free money to them, right? It's all digital. Press a button, buy, press a button, sell, and they get paid. Not no more. So Robinhood basically ushered that in. And Robert, uh, Robinhood also stated that more than half of their users are first-time investors. They're brand new. They're like, hey, I think, I think I'll open up an account with Robinhood or Webull. This is great news for the stock market, right? the economy and for Americans looking to grow their portfolios and have um, a ticket to the craziest game in town, right? And they can watch, and then they can go to listen, finally listen to Warren Buffett, which I did a video on Warren Buffett, where I talked about him exiting and how those celebrity stock players, is that really fair? Um, because he sold all his airline stock. Seven billion dollars worth of air stock. He said, you know, he goes, I don't think it's the same business anymore. I'm out. And he was out. He's like all in or all out. And yet this, the market actually didn't move that much, which was crazy because uh, I was vested in Delta and still invested somewhat in Delta, not as much. I've moved some of that money around. But uh, Southwest I'm in too. And I bought both of those because they had strong cash reserves. And I saw also that they were getting loans from the government. So you know, do you agree with Warren Buffett? Do you not? Do you buy airline stock? Are, is the infrastructure still there? Will they still pay the dividends that they were paying before? That's going to be, you know, the future. We'll see. I'm Andrew Cartwright. And by the way, all the little businesses, I hate to say this, this sounds crazy. It sounds horrible. But 52% of businesses are supposed to be going out of business as a result of this gap. And it makes sense. If you were it, let's say you were making $5,000 a month as, as a business owner and your overhead's $50,000 a month and you had straight overhead $50,000 a month on all the other expenses for two months and you have $100,000, you're backwards now. If you were only making $5,000 when things were great, how long is it going to take you to pay all that back? You're, and then you're going to get a loan based on what, 3.75%? A lot of these businesses will be gone, which means most of the people that are on the stock market, big box like Lowe's, uh, Home Depot, Walmart, Walgreens, like I said in other videos, they're all open. They're all open, but the little guy has got to stay closed. So a lot of that's going to move, that basically market share will move to the big box. It's sad, but it's like they said, step aside. 
the worker, step aside, uh, big box, you're all good. And then all of a sudden, the, the 30 million small businesses were stuck in the middle. And now, in a couple months when we start to open up, I think we're going to start to see what that's going to really look like. But on a positive note, most Americans will own stock. And that business will go to the stock market. So I'm Andrew Cartwright. I hope this finds you well, informative. I'm all about finance, business, strategy. I've started 32 companies in 17 industries. I love business. I'm a set obsessed with it. I've been crazy obsessed with it since I was 12 years old. I look at business models every day. I help people buy and sell businesses. I underwrite and finance them. I have like a ton of regulated licenses, which is crazy. But at any rate, I'm here to help you, and this doesn't cost you anything. Like, subscribe, like it, hit the notification bell, because guess what? I'm the real deal. Take care.